and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and today it's time for one of my foam board projects. Um, so I've got a couple of things that I'd like to do with foam board. Um, Primarily um, my spare storage, there's some that I have that's black, I want to change it out to white um, because I didn't have any and I now do um, and I also want to create some dividers for my spare storage so that is going to be a future video but one of the other things I wanted to do is sort out some little foam inserts for my tray storage so if you can see for diamond painting trays that I have both our add more zest size and our zesty size and a trashy tray all sit on the same row which makes my heart happy however um, the tray the trashy trays are only sort of held in when I lie this flat by the zesty tray um, and if I don't have a trash tray the zesty tray I put it in to prop it up because I like them propped up the add more zest tray props up I like the zesty one too uh, but it will fit inside so what I want to do is create um, a piece of foam insert that will stop this tray from sort of going in going all the way in I want it to halt it um, but then I also want it really thin enough so my little trash tray will just sit right on the end if I can make it work uh, right on the end so that I can grab it whenever I'm grabbing either the big tray or the little tray so that's my idea uh, at the moment if I put the spout of my tray lined up then it's actually keeping hold of them uh, as soon as I move the tray they go further in now of course when they're on the shelf um, and upright and not just for the purposes of the camera then um, that is often a lot easier um, to keep them nice but I would just love to be, I suppose, a little rougher and just throw a tray in and it stop all by itself um, rather than it falling in if I just throw it in. So I say that is my plan. Um, I haven't got any idea of measurements at the moment. Also, the trays are angled and um, we, we like that for the ergonomics. Um, so whether where I need to stop a tray from hitting um, could be in a slightly different place to what I think. So what I'm going to look at first, I think, to get some sort of a measurement. Let's get a measurement. <laughs> Something to start the ball rolling is what we need. Um, I have pushed the trash tray all the way in to the back of the tray storage so what I want to know is what that distance is and actually um, primarily I use metric unless inches work better and in this instance the gap from the edge of the trash tray to just short of the end of my tray storage rack is actually an inch so I'm going to use an inch because if it works it works it works with my card storage um, I use inches on that because they end up being the nice round amounts and sometimes I use centimeters I'm one of I'm one of that generation that uses both so I'm going to mark that of an inch and we're doing more of a test piece now. I've had a I've had a day pottering around in my craft room. Anybody that's been watching this channel for a while will be glad to know the 310 diamonds have now been all put in their bag. In fact, they've been put in a new bag. Um, but yeah, I've been doing different pottering bits around my craft room so 
I thought today is an ideal day to film this. Um, this is actually a video that is not going up the week I'm filming it. It's actually going up the week after. And I've not managed to do that straight. I've managed to get the first edge, but this edge I'm a bit off. So again, I'm scoring it with a craft knife. I'm doing it backwards this time because I couldn't get my line straight. Now, I will neaten these edges up with stickers if I feel they need them once it's done. Sometimes they do need it, sometimes they don't. Okay, so that is the right... That is the right distance that way. If that whole thing went in, it would stop the, the trash tray from hitting the back. Now this, is, this next one is the harder measurement because this is now stopping this tray from hitting. Now it does actually go all the way back. Um, so when I put the tray, this is the bit that's going to get hard to sort of show you. But when I put the tray in on this angle, it is actually hitting the back wall. Um, but it's this corner that's hitting the back wall. It's not hitting it flat, because if it was, it would be out that way. Um, and it's not hitting it flat against this back edge, because otherwise that is when it's all the way in. So I've actually got a little bit of a sort of angle. So I know that I need it a width, uh, an inch in width to stop my trash tray. So I think I need to get to this edge um, and that will be enough to stop the tray. If it's going in there, so let me just pull that up again. If it's going in there, and if I take it out like this, I think it just needs to be able to stop at this point here for it to hit the edge of it. So this is where I think I'm going to have to mess about to get the perfect measurement. Um, and what I'm going to do first is I think I'm going to try the measurement that is the width of the trash tray, which is, it's about two and a half centimetres, about an inch again. So shall we try an inch? Oh, look, my cutting mat has actually got an inch on it because this is um, a scrapbooking product um, that I've had for years and it's an American company, so... It has inches marked on it. That must be the first time I have ever used these grid lines. <laughs> okay, so I've got an inch square is, is basically what I have. So if I push that into the back corner of my tray storage, so it's in that back corner, and if I push that in, oh, do you know, that has hit it perfect so that is lined up on the edge it can't go any further so if if i take out one of those if i push the green one it can go in and drop in um, the red one can't and that's what i wanted and if i now put the trash tray in the trash tray can't go any further because it's hitting the back. Ah, oh, how is that for a chance encounter of measurements that work like a flipping dream? I did not expect that at all. I expected this to be one of those where you, you enjoyed me spending a lot of time not quite knowing what I was doing. Now, I could... And in fact, I think I will. Oh, actually, no, once they're in there, 
I was going to get a sticky pad, like a photo tab, um, and stick it on the bottom so it will stick in the back corner. But if I ever decide to change this tray storage to be storage for, say, the big AMZ tray, then I would potentially have a problem getting them out, depending on how good the sticky was that I put in. So if I put that one in, I've put the one in for my orange one, even though I don't currently have my orange tray, my daughter does. That goes in. That goes in and won't go any further. Now, when I do have a trash tray, sometimes it pushes the tray out a little bit more. But, you know, you're talking tip for tap. Basically, I can just throw that in and it won't give me any grief. There's some dust on that tray. Okay, remind me, I need to use the yellow zesty tray. <laughs> It's got a bit of dust on. Okay, my lines aren't as straight as they once were. Maybe if I try angling my craft mat. See if I can get it straight in now. Then. They're still not hugely straight cuts, but they are straight in relation to all the trays look straight, which is the main thing. So I've got my tray in. I've got my trash tray in they both hit they both hit they line up my amz trays fit in like that anyway um it was the best storage that we could get to allow you to be able to grab hold of your trays uh, and we actually got this tray storage before trash trays even existed i'm pretty sure we ordered it at least before trash trays existed so, ah, in they both go, bump, bump, all hitting the edge, just like the AMZ trays do. Voila, that was a much shorter video than I thought it was going to be. I am going to keep cutting myself one inch squares. I do have... Um, Three lots of tray storage they're gonna need this I have four in total one is all AMZ trays one is all zesty trays and they tend to be different colors um, and then I have two that hold um, AMZ and zesty trays just like this one so any tray that we have both colors of are held in two of my storage which is actually getting to the point where they're getting quite full so I may have to add a fifth oh, look they just sit so nice this one is just a smidge more than an inch Well, this is working even if I'm slightly off. You know, there are definitely some of these squares that are not cut the nicest. And because I only need one to be able to do this, so I don't need a double layer of foam. Um, I could do a double layer of foam, but it, the tray, even though the trays are taller, they don't need that double layer for it to work. So what's the point in me cutting even more when it's not needed? Um, oh, they fit so, so pretty. If you can see, I've got up to the navy blue. So I've done these ones. There is a triangle in there for when I get my orange tray back. Um, but yeah, look, they all just, they all just sit. They're just sitting. They're just hitting the foam and sitting. Um, that is exactly what I wanted to happen from this. I don't have 
um, trash trays for them all, but that's that's fine because that's actually what I want is if I don't have a trash tray, um, I do want them to definitely hit that foam and stop. Um, but I don't think the foam is that untidy. What you can do, in fact, I'll show you with the orange one because once the tray is in, I don't have, I don't think I have a, oh, I have a different, slightly different coloured orange trash tray. Um, but for this one, what you can do if you want to cover up that foam edge is I do have some sticker paper and this is just A4 sticker paper. And in fact, let's not use A4 sticker paper. Let's use some of our sticker sheets. So if you've ever bought sticker sheets from us, or if you've got sticker sheets, say, in the advent, what you want to actually use is this bit. So you can, of course, cut this with a trimmer and it will be a whole lot straighter. But I'm going to do the quick version to give you an option. So I'm cutting very close to where my circle stickers are, but not all the way through. And I just want this side piece of sticker sheet. And then peel the backing off, which is a little trickier than just peeling a sticker that's already been cut off the the whole sheet so it does take a little bit to get at it come on let me in let me in please maybe I should have tried peeling it before no nope, there we go I'm at it so this is then just a nice clear sticker and if you put that over the edge of your foam board and then I like to chop off the sides you can always fold them over if you want but then you end up with like double layer of sticker so if you can see that it's just stuck on there and then just fold it over and then instead of seeing this foam when you're looking in you just see a nice, smooth piece of white. It just blends in even more. So I might put those on. I may decide to put it on them all. I may decide to just put them on the ones that don't have a trash tray so that they look nice from a distance. Um, but I am now going to spend probably... Another, to be, to be fair, that's pretty quick, um, considering it's all the figuring out as well. Um, and I think, I, especially because I've now got the markings on here, uh, I am just going to line this up and cut a load of one inch. And what I can do as well, actually, which may make it even easier, because I do have four sheets of stickers, is I could put my sticker over that edge before I then cut it down into separate inches. So that will then cut them with a sticker front. Don't need it the other side, can't see it at all. So I can see that front sticker piece, but I can't see the rest just looking at the tray storage. And this one does go at eye line height. Um, so yeah, so I'm not gonna be able to see all the rest from the back um, but now I'm going to be able to have all my trays lined up nicely instead of either my trash tray falling further back or my tray falling into my storage if I'm a little bit too rough um, so yeah that's what I'm going to do if you do have, say you only use AMZ trays or you only use Zesty trays, of course, you can use this, you know, this way multiple times. But just to let you know, what I do if I only have an AMZ tray with a trash tray is I put the trash tray behind the AMZ tray like that. So when I take this out, 
you will then be able to see your trash tray to grab that and then use them both together. So it's just a little way you can use the storage to keep your trays in one place um, when you pick what pretty colour you fancy using next. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much for joining me while I figured that out. I am very, very surprised it was so easy, um, but I'm happy with that. I think I may actually do the sticker edge on them all, um, cut a full strip, full inch strip, um, put the sticker paper on and then cut my little inch squares out of it and just pop them into each row. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if I get most of this, if not all of it, out of one sheet of one sheet of foam board, which is a win because I do need foam board to do my spare storage um, in another video. And I want to actually do some where we store stock trays in the shop. Um, some of them, I just want to build them out a little bit so that they can, again, I can be lazy and I can just throw it in without thinking about, okay, that's not going to work when it's lay flat, but they don't lay flat. Um, I just want to be able to throw them in. <laughs> throw them in, be rough and they just land in the right place. And this is the perfect way for me to do that. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I managed to knock that piece of foam on an angle. But as I say, they're stored upright, so it's only for the purposes of the camera. If you do store yours flat for whatever reason, um, you may wanna do double foam board just to stop it hitting that angle and letting gravity take over um but yeah i'm very happy that that project was a lot easier than what i thought so i am going to busy myself away now getting all my tray storage looking pretty pretty uh, practical no it already looks pretty it's now going to be practical so thank you for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon